Okay, it's time. Mama passed away, and now my stepfather's passed away, and it's time to clean out this house, go through, and get rid of everything. So let me start up here in the attic here. I think what I'll do is go through everything. I took it. Uh, I'm going to take it downstairs and pack it up for the dumpster. What is this? Okay, what's all these old papers? No telling what it is. Let me find out first before I get to throwing away everything what's going on. Oh my goodness. This cannot be true. This is the story of my stepfather. My mama had said that he had a little problem years ago, but I had no idea what he went through. 17 years old, 1937, sentenced to 393 years in Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee State Penitentiary? Who does that? Oh my goodness, what else? That was the voice of Janice Russell, author of There, Red Top Prison to Mount Nebo. That inspirational book has been changing people's lives, and the reason is buried in the life of her stepfather. She discovered his memoirs and discovered that he had been railroaded into a, the worst prison that anyone could imagine when he was only 17. He was innocent and he went into prison for 393 years, expecting never, never to see the outside world again. Hi, my name is Janice Russell, the author of the book There. We've had such a great response from the book that we've decided to make it into a movie. The movie is going to uh, capture the attention of all of those that are in prison, in the detention centers, and juvenile detention centers to give them the hope and the faith that they can survive in any of the circumstances they're in. I'm working along with my sister friend here, Loretta. Well, Janice buttonholed me at a party and she's not let go since. She said, I've written this book and I need to make a movie. Can you help me? And she told me the story about her stepfather who had been imprisoned at the age of 17 and became the first ordained pastor in a prison in history. He, for all intents and purposes, thought that he would never get out of prison. He, was, he had a sentence of 393 years. You know, nobody lives that long. He made a life of it and he ministered to the, the prisoners. He even carried people out of the electric chair after they died. He gave them his love and his heart. I cried over this book and I'm putting together a script that I want to move people so that they understand that it is possible to have a heart and a soul no matter what the circumstances are. Now with your help and Loretta we can explain to the world where there is. Let me tell you about there. There is a place where either you've been there, you're there now, or you're getting ready to go to. It's a place that you can't come up out of your, by yourself. You need help, and only with the help of God can you come out of this situation. Many times we get things wrong, we get ourselves caught up, and we don't know which way to go. That's what this book is about. This gentleman's their journey and how the Lord brought him out and he can bring us out too. So we need to let others know that they can come out with the help of God and with your help along with Loretta's help we can put this out there in a movie to let them know there is a place. Thank you.